If you want to make your own custom defined gradients, you can choose your gradient tool and instead of clicking on the drop down arrow, I'm going to click on the gradient itself in the tool options. This will bring up my gradient editor. With this editor, I can choose some of the pre-made and predefined gradients and you can see it'll add itself down to the little gradient slider at the bottom. I'm going to choose say this three um, blue, red, and yellow type gradient. Now with this I can click on the color swatches at the bottom of the gradient slider and move them around and I can change the position that these colors will be in. Additionally, if I wanted to change the color, I can select the swatch. Let's say I wanted to change this red to a different color. And I can click on the word color, or I can even just double click the swatch to bring up my color picker. Choose the next color. When I say OK, now the color has been changed. As I move the colors around, also notice that there's a little dot, a little uh, diamond in the middle of our, our two different color swatches. With this one, I can click and drag and tell it how quickly I want the, uh, the gradient to change from one color to the next color based on its location. If I wanted to remove a swatch, I can click on it and drag it off, and now I'm left with just the two. Or if I wanted to add a swatch, I can click anywhere underneath it, notice that my cursor becomes a hand, and another swatch stop has been added. Let's change its color back to green. The final thing to know is you can change the opacity of your gradient that you're working on as well. Right now at the very top there are two different little color swatches that are solid black. These are the opacity swatches. I can move these around and so for instance this one's at 100% opacity. If I choose the opacity down at the bottom to be any lower you can start to see the little checkerboard pattern which means it's dropping the opacity as it goes from 100% down to in this case 27% or even lower. You can add multiple opacity swatches and adjust the opacity of those as well by pulling them up. So now instead of it going just from blue to green to yellow, it goes from blue down to 100% transparent back up to 100% 100 uh, opaque of yellow. Let's pull this one back up so I can see a little bit of the green. To save this one, I can give it a name. Instead of custom, we'll call it Ben's Gradient. And I can click on the word New, and it will be added to my custom defined swatches up in my gradient editor. When I say OK, I can start using my gradient right now. Additionally, I can find it down in the drop down menu for whatever I have selected.